Hello, and in this video, I'm building a wildlife crossing. Now, wildlife crossing is a, a structure, could be an overpass, could be a tunnel, could be a viaduct that crosses a man-made barrier like a road, a rail. Uh, there are even some that cross golf courses. Now, I'll just talk about some of the benefits of a wildlife crossing. Some of the benefits are, of course, to the... If you create a wildlife crossing that crosses over or under a road, there are less collisions because animals don't have to cross over the the road. They can cross over the overpass bridge. Now, in Europe, there are about 507,000 collisions, resulting in 300 people killed and 30,000 injuries. And this resulted in $1 billion damages. Now, in the United States, involving deer there is about uh, 1.5 million traffic accidents estimated at 1.1 billion in vehicle damages so as you can see this uh, crossing obviously won't reduce every single animal crossing but in a large area where animals cross frequently or used to cross before the road was built this uh, reduces traffic incidents in that area but obviously it is very area Dependent. like you can't just stick it in a random place and hope that the animals will cross you tend to have to build it in a place where animals are known to cross like in migratory paths or just uh, like big places like if there's a forest one side and there tends to be animals in there half the year and then there's a forest the other side the animals will migrate over the road to, and cross into the new feeding grounds but then obviously there is the cost of building the the wildlife crossing. I mean, the one I'm building here is pretty big. And it's based off one in real life. Uh, I don't know where it's built because all I found was a Google image picture. But it's a big, big wildlife crossing with a small pedestrian crossing beside it as well. And to say uh, th about the cost, Apparently building a new road, if you were to install enough uh, wildlife crossings, it would add 7% to 8% of the total cost would be added on creating all these wildlife crossings. Not just crossings like this, which are big, but also uh, like underpat, like uh, tunnels for amphibians, uh, smaller mammals like badgers and stuff. But these, these big ones are obviously for deer in Europe. Uh, it can be for bison in America or elk. So since I've talked about the general idea behind wildlife crossings, I'll go a bit what I'm doing here in the video. Obviously I'm using the curb assets that I'm very uh, much in love with for using for like plazas and stuff. And what I did here was create a curved wall that goes up that is supporting a large in in the real world this would support a large amount of uh, earth and dirt so it would extend all the way out very close to the bridge to catch a wide amount of animals as possible to try and keep them heading in towards the bridge because obviously you can't make a bridge super wide or well, you can but it costs more so if you can make the entrance as wide as possible and then narrow it in slowly to the bridge and then it's a small crossing and then it spreads out again to basically the length of the the forest in front of them that's the general idea behind it and i'm using uh ploppable asphalt to like raise the terrain because city skylines terrain sucks it is really bad for doing small minute things and it's just a lot easier to pretend the terrain is there with building it like with this ploppable asphalt. So I raise it up and I use the grass deco decals that uh, Ronix released. Uh, it's not a, it's not really a decal. It's more of a um, like a theme. D 
decal set. So whichever theme you are currently using, the decals take that colour. So it matches as close as it possibly can to the your current theme. So or we'll have a decal, uh, oil, farm fields, grass, gravel, dirt, s sand, all that stuff will have it, their own decals, which is very useful. And I've obviously used a uh, normal road here to just emulate an Animal Crossing because in City Skylines, even though there are uh, there is wildlife, it doesn't do anything. It just meanders around and if it wanders into an urban area, it just despawns <laughs> and just gets out of there. So this really has no point to it other than just looking pretty cool because the one I chose to emulate looks really nice. It's, very, it's a very uh, modern design which is extremely what I'm going for at the moment. I'm very uh, like modern centric I suppose. I like all the modern designs but that will all change with um, the new uh, Eagle Springs series that I'm doing because obviously it's a uh, North American city on Route 66. Not very many things are modern in those kinds of cities. There'll be some things but most of it is old and dingy and dirty and that's just what I wanted to do. I wanted a little bit of change. So here I am uh, adding the foliage, sort of creating a, a way to funnel obviously the, the animals in like I was saying before but I'm also trying to find tall enough trees because even though I installed uh, tree snapping, tree snapping only works on buildings and roads. It doesn't work on plop of asphalt, which is a bit of a shame. So what I had to do was like get tall enough trees so that they would pop through the uh, tops of the asphalt. So I had to get them just tall enough so that they would just pop through and make small bushes because I didn't want big trees on here because there wouldn't be massive trees planted here because this is would be fairly new and also then it could affect the structural integrity of the bridge itself if there are big trees. So I only detail one side of the four corners on video because there's no real point in seeing me do four of the exact same thing. So I just basically show you here the general gist. If you ever want to do something similar, like what what you'll need to do, what tools you'll need, sort of what decals you'll need, stuff like that. And here I am adding the final thing I do before the video is finished. I'm adding uh, different dirt decals to just break up that texture that texture is very flat, the green grass texture. So I'm adding some dirt decals in there just to add some interest to it. So this was a very, very short video and I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.